Holy cow. Trying to straighten the prop up. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, we got the Octura 3 blade. Okay, this is a 1740. 17 pitch, 40 millimeter. I've been running a 1716, 43 millimeter, 16 pitch. Okay, so uh, we're going to give it a quick rip here at the park pond. All right, stick around. wasn't planning on running it today it's uh it's balanced it's just tarnished from sitting around for about a year and a half <laughs> never found a good boat to run this 1740 on so uh, pretty excited to run it that right there is what you call a big b gum it's a gum boy that brass spacer i made it wasn't quite long enough and i i couldn't find a a, a, a washer so i put another spacer on it, it'll work it'll work it's actually <laughs> balance perfect you know <laughs> hoping that this three blade the boat won't have as much prop walk you know it's smaller diameter more more pitch but uh it's a three blade so it shouldn't walk out walk out on us i guess we're about to find out <laughs> let me get her turned around here i'll take it easy on this first one we'll see how much cavitation it's got because it's a seven seven pitch Whoa! Oh, it walks out more. Oh, wow. Wow, it's got some oomph though. I like it. Best best run on. I've, I've yet to find a boat that this thing runs good on, and I think this is the boat for it. Oh, it's got some hop. And man, that's got a lot of lift. It's got a lot of hop. Yeah. Without without messing with my strut, okay. I've got my strut set for that 1716, and uh, yeah, I'm just putting it on here, just kind of messing around with it without tinkering and tuning the boat for the prop. Just a simple prop test, you know. Like I said, I wasn't really planning on doing it. I'm gonna get it trimmed out a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely got some hop, top end, which is what that uh, 1716 was doing. But this prop's dull. Well, it's it's sharp, but it's not polished. And a, an unpolished prop will cause more prop walk than a polished prop. You know what I mean? More prop walk, and um, it on a on a mono it'll chine walk. So let's see what it does here in a straight one more time with it trimmed out. <laughs> that's actually pretty nice she's got some bounce though <laughs> i like it i like it man i like the way it sounds it sounds good i wish i had a bigger area to to run it right now uh wind blowing like crazy the next couple days i think friday is supposed to be light and variable so uh i'm gonna try to take this one the dominator and my delta force 35 to the speed run spot friday or the next pretty day we get you know can't run this thing in uh, 10 knots south southwest at the speed run spot <laughs> so uh well since we're testing some props this one right here it takes a second for it to catch because it's such a high pitch you know but once you catch it you know it it's actually not bad i think i can tune the boat in for this prop it's a good option for you guys with a rigger you know <laughs> 53 53 okay and uh let's get a real quick temp that motor's been in the 90s for all the props i've tested on it oh yeah it got hot 101 99 it's been in the low 90s with the abc props so um it's actually pretty aggressive so i took the three blade off and I put the 1616 on. I was gonna run a bigger prop, but I figured two 40 millimeter props would be a good test. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get everything taped back up. All right, 17 pitch, 16 pitch, 40, 40. Okay, let's give it a quick rip. The reason I'm doing this test is I'm actually looking for a good oval prop for this pond, you know? Something that's not gonna like prop walk the boat out real bad. And uh, 
do you know has some odd characteristics I might throw uh, testing out an 1816 into this video as well you know because uh, I've already tested it out and it's way too much prop for this pond you know the 1716 in this small pond actually worked out pretty good you know 43 millimeter but uh, let's see what this 1616 does Wow, got some prop walk on that one for sure. Actually, it looks like it has more prop walk than a 1716 only because, I think it's only because the 1716 is really thin. I, I like thinned it, profiled it uh, to a T. This prop here, it's, um, it's rather rough. You know, it's, the blades are still kind of thick. It's sharp and balanced and polished, but the blades aren't as thin as the 1716 I ran in the previous video of this boat and uh, it handles so good with that 1716 on and I th think it was due to the thin blade you know I'm working on these props slowly but surely Wow holy mackerel holy mackerel let's get one more in and then we'll do a couple ovals with it Full trigger for for a split second. Sixteen, sixteen. Man, I wasn't expecting this much from this prop. I've got ninety with this prop on my uh, on my Velez last year. Eighty nine or ninety. Oh yeah, this is a good oval prop for this pond. It's not bouncing like that three blade, you know. And a straight, it's not really wanting to bounce. It's got nice, nice takeoff. You know, it sounds good. It does have some prop steer with this prop. Like I said, I think that's because it's not quite as refined as the 1716 that I was running in the previous video. This is my first big rigger. And it's kind of a journey for me. I'm enjoying trying different props, you know, setups and stuff on this thing. Even though I did change the stock ESC out, which I'm I'm really just waiting till I can go to the speed run spot a few times and then I'll put the stock ESC back in. That's, that's so crazy such an awesome little boat man let's check the speed i think what do we get with that three blade in the 62 mile an hour oh wow 68 that's my pb with the boat 68 that's awesome that's freaking awesome <laughs> and attempts are so cool with the smaller prop on 97 98 about the same temp oh 104 104 but I've run back-to-back -back props on here, back-to-back. -back. This one here had some bounce, some hop. It has a lot of lift, I'm noticing. But like I said, it could be due to the unpolished propeller. You know, uh, I wasn't even planning on running it, but, I, you know, I had it in my box. I didn't think I had it with me. So I decided to throw it on. So um, what I'll do is I'll actually polish this prop up, and we'll take it out with the same exact tune and see if it still has that hop. You know, um, I, I think the hops due to the unpolished propeller. This one here is polished to a T, but it's not quite as thin and profiled as my 1716 there. Uh, 68 is my PB, which have only recorded speeds with this boat at the park pond. I'm waiting on a pretty day to go to the speed run spot to really open her up. So yeah, hopefully this prop video helps you guys out. Actually, um, this is my outro. I'll actually include the 1816 run. Uh, right now. So uh, thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you next time It's fast though It's fast I can't even get it up the full trigger man. That's like three-quarter Even in the straight It's actually doing some wacky stuff with that prop on
looks like the whole uh, whole trains is wanting to come up a little bit. I guess it might be the way I'm driving it, trying to trying to squeeze it in between these trees, you know, left and right input. Kind of th there it went. It's good there. I think it was just the way I was driving it. Be more careful. 